This is lesson uh, 15, section 8.8 .8 on improper integrals. The two kinds of improper integrals uh, because the two ways an integral might be improper. So what is the usual proper integral? We have a function f of x, which is let's say continuous on the closed interval from a to b. And we consider the integral from a to b of f of x dx. That's an ordinary proper integral. One way an integral can be improper is if the limits of integration, the interval over which you're, in, you're integrating, is infinite. So, so this is the first type of improper integral. You might have the integral from a to infinity of a function f of x dx, or you might have an integral from minus infinity to some number b of f of x dx, or you might have an integral from minus infinity to plus infinity of f of x dx. So the way we um, define these improper integrals is as follows. If you want to go from a to infinity, you can go from a to b, some number b, f of x dx. Compute this, it depends on the upper limit of integration b, and take the limit as b goes to infinity. We do something similar in the other two cases. If you have an integral from minus infinity to b, b is fixed, takes the limit from a to b of f of x dx, and take the limit of that as a goes to minus infinity. And finally, if you have an integral from minus infinity to plus infinity, we write that as two, the sum of two improper integrals. Pick a number c, take the interval, integral from minus infinity to c of f of x dx, plus the integral from c to infinity of f of x dx. So we'll do some examples, uh, which will include uh, one of each of these types. So <clears throat> suppose we have the integral <clears throat> from one to infinity of one over x dx. So we take the limit as b goes to infinity the integral from one to b of one over x dx. But we know this integral, this is just log of b. This is the limit as b goes to infinity of log b. And that's infinite. So this improper integral doesn't exist. We say it diverges. <clears throat> Here's another example. Suppose I take the integral from one to infinity of one over x cubed dx. So this is the limit <coughs> as b goes to infinity of the integral from one to b of one over x cubed dx. Now I know what this integral is. This is x to the minus three. So this is minus one half x to the minus a half from one to b. And I'm taking the limit of that as b goes to infinity. What is that? So that's minus one half, x to the minus one half, that's one over the square root of b, minus minus one half times one, one to the minus a half. So this is the integral, and I'm taking the limit of that as b goes to infinity. That's the limit as b goes to infinity. This is one half minus one over two root b. And as b goes to infinity, this goes to zero. <laughs> so this limit converges to one half. Hmm. 
one more integral. The integral from zero to infinity of e to the minus x dx. So this is limit b goes to infinity integral from zero to b e to the minus x dx. This limit I know how to do. This is minus e to the minus x from one to b. That's the limit b goes to infinity minus e to the minus b minus minus e to the minus one makes this e to the minus one. This goes to zero, so this limit is e inverse, or one over e. Suppose we have the integral from zero to infinity, one over x squared plus one dx. <coughs> Again, it's always the same thing. Take the integral from zero to b of one over x squared plus one. What is this? This is the arctangent. So this is arctangent of b minus arctangent of zero limit b goes to infinity. Arctangent of zero is zero. And the arctangent of b is b goes to infinity. It's pi over two. Remember the graph of the arctangent. Like that. It approaches pi over two asymptotically as you go to infinity. What about a doubly infinite integral? So you have the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity <coughs> of e to the x over one plus e to the two x. So I can write this as the integral from minus infinity to zero, e to the x over one plus e to the two x, plus the integral from zero to infinity of e to the x over one plus e to the two x dx. So we need to compute these two integrals separately. <laughs> the integral from zero to infinity of e to the x over one plus e to the two x dx. This is the limit b goes to infinity and I go from zero to b, e to the x over one plus e to the two x. Now in this integral, if we make the substitution, u equals e to the x, so du is e to the x dx. This is an integral from zero to b, sorry, not zero to b, it's an integral e to the x dx is du <coughs> over one plus u squared. When x is zero, u is one. And when x is b, this is e to the b. And we're taking the limit as b goes to infinity. <coughs> this integral is just the arctangent. So this is the arctangent of e to the b minus our tangent of one. Our tangent of one is pi over four. As b goes to infinity, the arctan e to the b goes to infinity. This approach is pi over four, pi over two. So we get pi over two minus pi over four equals pi over four. And if we work out the second integral, this integral, 
the integral from minus infinity to zero e to the x over one plus e to the two x dx. It also equals pi over four. So the integral we're interested in, the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity, e to the x over one plus e to the two x dx is pi over four plus pi over four. <clears throat> this pi over two. So this is the first type of improper integral. The second type occurs The second type occurs when you have a finite interval of integration, but the function isn't continuous in the interval. There's some point of discontinuity, and typically it would be an infinite discontinuity. So for example, suppose you have the integral from zero to one dx over q root of x. So the problem is one over the cube root of x does not exist at x equals zero. And the limit of one over the cube root of x as x approaches zero is infinity. So we have an infinite discontinuity. And <clears throat> what we do in that case is say, okay, let's take, see, what is the problem? The problem is that x equals zero. Suppose I take the integral from a to one, one over the cube root of x dx, and then take the limit of this as a goes to zero. So the integral, let me do this down here. The integral, the antiderivative of one over the cube root of x is the integral of x to the minus one third dx. If you add one to minus a third, you get two thirds. The inverse is three halves, x to the three halves. That's with the indefinite integral. And if we're integrating from a to one, this is three halves a to the three halves, to the, sorry, one when x is equal to one. Three halves times one minus three halves a to the three halves. So what we're taking is the limit as a goes to zero of three halves minus three halves a to the three halves. As a goes to zero, this term disappears. And the answer is three halves. We'll do two more examples. Suppose we have the integral of dx over x cubed from zero to two. What is the problem? The problem is that x cubed, one over x cubed, goes to infinity as x approaches zero. So we can take the integral from a to two of one over x cubed, and then the limit as a goes to zero of this integral. What is the integral of one over x cubed? That's the integral of x to the minus three. Add one, you get minus two. You get minus one half x to the minus two, or minus one over two x squared. And we're integrating this from a to two.
So this equals minus one eighth plus one over two a squared. So one over two a squared minus one eighth, that goes to infinity as a goes to zero, this thing diverges. So this integral does not exist. This integral diverges. One last problem. Suppose instead of integrating this from zero to two, we want to integrate the same function from minus one to two. So we would define this as the integral from minus one to zero, because x equals zero is a point of discontinuity. So integrate from minus one to zero plus the integral from zero to two. And we write each of these as a limit. The first is the limit of the integral from minus one to b dx over x cubed as b goes to zero plus the limit from a to two dx over x cubed. Let's say it goes to zero. What are these integrals? The integral of x to the minus three is minus one half x to the minus two from minus one to b. And this integral, again, it's limit a goes to zero minus one half x to the minus two from zero from a to two so this is minus one over two b squared plus a half And this is and x is two, sorry. Um, no. When x is two, this is minus an eighth. And when x is one, I get one over two a squared. And as a and b go to zero, these terms go to infinity, so this limit diverges. This integral doesn't exist. So this, this is the idea of improper integration. And you have a few homework problems about that.